Anyone recognize the hat? Yep, this is my original hat when I first started the Land of Smiles channel. That one first picture. <clears throat> it's a long time since I did a walkabout video, but I thought with the cats playing up, let's uh, let's continue the love story with Craig. And uh, also give you a bit of a look at how things are at the house these days. Hmm. Currently this bit of land on top of the pond, we've got the cow running around, training one of the cows for the wetland. That's good old Sam. All the fields have got rice crops in them. And now I'm going to try a walk about, see if we can find some shade up by the uh, reservoir. Living the dream, look at that mountain, it's gorgeous waking up to that. Craig was on Suckin' Bit Road, he just, a, a ladyboy just walked up to him and, uh, not a very pretty one, started talking to him. He was happy to talk to her and she was asking him uh, where he was going and he actually said he was actually looking for ladyboy bars, shows, just to and this is a complete stranger on the road. And this ladyboy spoke quite good English. He, and he said, I wanted to explore bars, ladyboy bars and shows and things. And this ladyboy said, uh, well, let's call her her. Um, she said, uh, would you like me to take you around and show you some of the ones that maybe people won't see? And he said, I'd love that. And she said, will you pay me for my time? I, I don't work at a bar. He said, of course. She was dead straight and honest. He said, I'm happy to. He said, brilliant. Where should we go? Where do you want to take me? And she straight away said, Pat Pong. Over in Pat Pong. Which is uh, a great area. I spent a lot of time there on the market, that mar night market it's where you find new products the replica stuff that first lands the new stuff, so I used to spend a lot of time there and he's like okay, let's go, pat on he'd already eaten so he said, uh, taxi and let's call this girl Y and Y said uh, okay and instead of um hailing a taxi down right there on the main road she walked him round the corner it was about Soy 7 near Soy 7 1 Eden Bar she walked him round the corner and there was a few taxis crawling along the road slowly they're, they're hawking they're looking for for business and she waved the first one said meet her Pat Pong um, I'm sure she spoke in Thai but he gathered when she said meet her and the driver's like mm. And so she just slammed the door and uh, carried on walking to the next one, stopped that one, and that one said yeah. So they jumped in the taxi. Off they went. It was about, with the traffic, it was about a 20 minute um, journey. Not too bad at that time of night, it must have been about 9 o'clock. And uh, they stopped opposite. McDonald's in Salom and dead opposite was the night market. I'm not sure of the soy number, I can't remember it. Soy four possibly. At the night market's all lit up. It's just one road from where McDonald's is on the main road going back to the next road. And there's two passageways, three passageways down through the market. But on each side all the way down are restaurants, bars and a few go-go bars. There's a lot of back streets. She um, didn't walk him down Soy 4, she walked him along a bit, I think it's Soy 2, to a smaller road, one road up, and walked down there. And she said to him, I think it was this road, this road is sort of boys town, um, it's like uh, men looking for men, but halfway down there's a cut through, and there's some go-go bars there, and beer bars, and ladyboy bars and he's like okay and they get halfway down 
and sure enough cut through and Y says to him um, let's go in to this bar and it was on the ground road level and it was it was quite a big bar it was a go-go bar sort of go-go bar and a beer bar it was open on two sides the dancers were clothed um, there was a mix of people in there families guys girls anyway they sat at a, a like a table not far from the dancing ordered a couple of drinks why ordered um, I think it was a spy which is like a wine cooler Craig ordered a beer prices looked about a hundred baht a piece so not too bad there wasn't a show as such but the dancers are lady boys and Craig immediately just focused on this one lady boy who had I would guess probably had all the operations from what he described very large upper part of the body two-piece bikini no bulges very long hair jet black hair um, stunning absolutely like a model just like this girl he'd been with the pool and he said to why lady boy and yes and he went operation hmm, maybe <laughs> couldn't tell I suppose um, I said beautiful and he's like stunning absolutely gorgeous lovely girl and why says very expensive here in Patpong for go-go girls and he said how much she said probably 1,000 baht fine bar fine maybe three four thousand baht for lady boy whoa that is expensive she said come on we drink let go I'll show you more and he's like but she's stunning he's already thinking I'd love to um, explore that lady They get up, pay the bill. Literally 50 meters down the road, there's two or three beer bars. Um, a couple of lady boys in each one. But then there's some stairs and a guy outside with a, a banner saying shows. And Moy said, don't go these shows. They charge you big money for drink and it's not nice shows. And he's like, okay, yeah, I've heard about these sort of shows. They carried on walking around a corner and then they are in a road with restaurants and definitely boys area which pointed out there was a bridge like a um like a walkway between the one side of the road and the other side above them and then she pointed out pool bar pool bar on the right was a couple of uh, beer bars these were girly bars she said pool bar lady boys freelancers same me very good place to meet lady boys she said, you go in there, you will meet many lady boys. She said, better if you not want me, you go alone. And he's like, wow, you don't want to rinse me for the whole night of money taking me around these places. She, he sort of said, well, you, you want to go? She said, yeah, I go, I, I go eat. She said, but in this area, the pool bar's best place for you if you want to talk to lady boys. She said, can you give me a bit of money? And he went, fantastic, thank you. Gave her a thousand baht. And she's like, well, he's like, wow, you know, thank you so, so much. Very appreciative. And uh, it paid for a thousand baht. She's like, great. Look that for an avenue down next to the reservoir. Behind my back garden. And he's uh, like, there you go, it's a thousand baht. Um, fantastic. Oh, better not go any further. A lot of birds settling, nesting. They're getting upset. <laughs> we'll leave them to it. So he pays the money in. There's the stairs going up. He goes up. Up these two flights of stairs. Comes into, and it's a big pool bar. There's about ten pool tables. There are any small tables. But nearly every person in there, there wasn't any foreigners in there, or maybe one. And he said that, that like 
it was just all it was ladyboys and there were some stunning ladyboys in there he didn't know what to do he had no idea he's just like luckily there's these hostess girls who set the tables up set the balls up on the tables one came across and said do you want a drink do you want to play pool and he's like yes yes <laughs> and she's like there's a, a board like a chalkboard next to every table you put your name and when it's your turn the person loses they come off and you go on and there was lots and lots of girls and lady boys in this in this pool ball pool um hall and they must be paying 20 baht a game from what i remember the pool halls they must have been so they've had some money but you know they can really play a lot of games in an hour uh and the place is full of girls and lady boys. Anyway, he, he looks at across at one table and he sees maybe six or seven girls sat at little tables around the edge of the room behind this one table. And he thinks, I'm going there. And he said, yeah, beer, ordered whatever beer it was. Went across that table, put his name down. And then there was a, it was all in Thai, the names, but he put his name down. And there was about six lady boys all sat against the wall. And they all sort of moved along and pushed him towards the middle of them to sit down in the middle. So here he is, wall, wall behind him, sat three or four lady boys on the right, three or four on the left, a couple playing pool, and his eyes are just everywhere. These, some of these lady boys are stunning. There's some girls in there, and he's trying to work out which one are girls, which one are lady boys. You know, he, he, he's made his mind up that he wants to experience another lady boy. Um, and he's made his mind up so a couple of the games go past and the the girl setting the balls up came across and said you're next and pointed at the the rack of cues up against the wall um, and there was about 10 cues on this rack in fact there was loads of racks around the room but pointed this rack and he, he got a uh, so that is socks who's got an animal in his mouth I don't know what it is okay talking to someone talking to the snakes <laughs> yeah there's the racks all around the room uh, anyway so he walks across he, he plays a bit of pool you know he's a lorry driver of course he does uh, if you go to Thailand and you do the bar scenes you've got to learn to play a bit of pool even if you're not brilliant, it doesn't matter. The girls love beating you. It's a great experience getting beaten by girls at pool. And some of them are real good hustlers. Anyway, he grabs the cue and he, he's okay. He's pretty good. And the person he's playing against comes across, shakes his hand. It's a lady boy because when she shakes his hand, she nearly squashes his hand, nearly crushes his hand. Not that tall, quite pretty. Deep voice. <laughs> And he's like, uh, okay. And he got his ass whipped on the table. He lasted one frame and he lost. Bang, out of there. <laughs> Put you back to sitting down. And every shot he played, all the girls sat against the wall were all sort of, yay, good, good, and then lose. Oh well. <laughs> and it's look, on his bill comes another, another little chitty 20 bar. Put in his pot. So um, yeah, he's got the little wooden pot next to his seat, you know, drink, now a game of pool. Um, but he's loving it, the attention. There's hardly any foreigners in there at all, maybe a couple more have come in. But he's just, just he's, he's just scanning all these girls and, and lady boys and looking around. Um, what a great night. He does spot one. There's one keeps catching the corner of his eye. Not that tall. He's pretty sure it's a lady boy. Straight hair, three quarter length, very pretty. Um, he's watching her, but she's on a different table. No twist in this episode. A nice little walk around. I'll see you on the next episode. Oh, are you guys going to say goodbye as well?
been following me everywhere. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.